Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and I love plants and yoga. And in today's video, I wanted to show you how I'm repotting some of my new plants because I've heard that the, um, sorry, <coughs> I'm a little bit sick, so my voice sounds very weird and I might sneeze and cough all through this video. Also, that's why I'm wearing my very cozy outfit. Today, I don't have to do anything, luckily. I can just chill on the sofa, sleep, and repot some plants for you. <laughs> so I heard that the grower who grew these, um, these guys before I bought them from the nursery actually had these setting in a lot of water. So some of my friends who bought them had the roots be very rotted. So they advised me to repot as soon as possible. And then the pink princesses that I bought recently, I also had some comments that the soil looked way too moist. So I'm gonna see what the roots look like and repot them into my own mix this is actually not the the regular mix that i use i bought some soil this time at the intra town which looks very different it's a lot more fluffy there's a lot more airiness in it already but i added perlite to make it even more airy normally i mix in uh, soil with perlite and orchid bark as per the recipe that kaylee ellen showed us in her aeroid mix video but yeah i'm gonna be using this to repot so let's see first how Mushu is doing. This is Mushu, my ring of fire plant. <clears throat> I'm filming this on my phone, so finally I'll have the option to just zoom in without having to adjust the zoom. Look how beautiful he is. What? The variegation, especially on this leaf, amazes me. It started to turn a little bit more orange recently on the corners. Well, this one is very white, so it has many different colors. And there's a cool, cool line on the inseam of this leaf, just running all the way down it in yellow or white. Anyway, <clears throat> let's get it out of the pot. I name tag all of these babies. So this one, this little wooden thing says the name Mushu. Let's massage the pot slightly. Remove some of the old planty bits. Let's see how your roots are doing. Ooh, that looks promising. Let me just put this to the side. Actually surprised by how good the roots look. It's not super root bound yet, but it looks healthy. Some of these roots do look dead. Ah, and it's interesting. They're a little bit like orchid roots, which I know a lot about. So there's a, a little filament it's called in orchids that goes around the actual root. And if that comes off very easily, then that means the roots are dead. So these guys seem okay. I might leave it a little bit more like it is already because I don't want to upset it more. I want it to open that new leaf for me that's opening right there. Do you see it? <clears throat> I'm just getting out some of the soil from the inner root bulb these look alive yeah these roots feel healthy i think i found some new growth in here there's a little growth point yeah that looks like a new baby plant that's exciting i think i'm gonna leave it a bit more like it is right now because i can feel the the healthy roots being pulled off which i don't want so All these on the outside look very he healthy and happy. I'm just feeling my way around the inner edge of the bulb. I think I'm going to reuse the old pot. Pop some of the new soil in there. Sorry. baby in there. This is not a very dramatic repot because it looked healthy and I want it to stay that way. If the princesses look the same, I might just keep them pretty similar to what they are right now. I don't want to upset the plant without needing to upset it. Okay. 
So that's done already. That's pretty quick. I am going to water this before I put it back in the pot. So I'm going to just put that to the side for a moment. My table's already too full. I'm going to bin this real quick. Next, my princess family. I have four at the moment, some of which have babies. And this is Percy. She was my first. She doesn't have much variegation at all, so I might sell her because I have a few more that I think are a little bit more cool. Okay, this is very wet. This soil is just basically pure soil, so I'm glad I'm repotting her. I was talking yesterday to someone on Instagram talking about how the princesses are now becoming plug plants, so they're becoming more readily available. And she was saying in Canada, they're not expensive at all anymore. They're like 10 Canadian dollars, which is very cheap. I paid about 23 euros for these. So that's 33 Canadian dollars or 25 Canadian, uh, US dollars. So here's this little baby. It does have a few roots coming out. I love the roots on here because they are pink. One is pink for sure. This is adorable. I don't know if you're supposed to, but I'm going to take it out of the little cuppy thing, the paper. Come on. It's okay, Percy. You're going to have a nice new pot. And it's going to be awesome. Come on. Let's go. She's resisting me slightly, so I'm just going to grab some scissors to cut off the paper. There we go. This part came off much easier. So let's have a look at these roots. I personally think she is adorable. The pink roots are killing me. <laughs> I might put her in a smaller pot actually, because if a plant has a smaller pot, especially for winter, it might be a little bit better for them to feel snug and not have to grow lots of roots while they are in dormancy. So these mini plants on the sides, there are two on the sides on this one. They're too small for now. Oh, three even or four. Whoa, but they're too small to take away, I think. So I might do that in the spring when they have a better chance of surviving. If you look at these roots, oh, let me see, where is the screen? Check them out, especially that pink one right there. How cute is that? So this is it. It's not much for the roots, but it's not much for the plant either. It's a small, small pink princess. So putting her to the side for a moment, because I'm gonna <clears throat> unpot all of them first, I think, and then repot them into something better than this, like peat moss maybe, or choir or choir. I don't know how to pronounce. Let's do this one next. I haven't named the other princesses yet, so I'm still working on the names for those. Ooh. <clears throat> this one is from a different batch from the nursery as it, they restocked it recently. And it does look like it has a bit more roots already. You can see at the bottom, there are some roots curling around. So I'm going to have to be careful with this one. Again, it's very, very wet and it's pure soil. So I'm happy I'm repotting them into something more aeroid appropriate. This is really wet. I don't know when I watered these last, but it wasn't recent. So I'm glad I'm doing this right now. And this one also has quite a few small plants on the side that look a little bit bigger than on person. I used to have different hobbies on Saturdays, but now, <laughs> It's repotting my plants while I'm sick. This plant I basically only bought because of the new leaf. It looks to have great variegation on there already, and it's not even close to being unfurled. So I just had to know what it was going to look like when it was grown up. It's such a fun thing with variegated plants to just wait until a new leaf is unfolded and see what nature has given you. There are three or four little bunched up babies on here. 
No, I'm gonna leave them on. I think they have a better chance of surviving in spring, even though they're already coming off slightly. But So this guy has better roots, a little bit bigger. Here we are. Ooh, the house is gonna be a mess, but it's okay. My boyfriend is on holiday, so I can clean up whenever I want. See that pink on that new leaf over there? So cool. And then all the babies are over here. But they're gonna have to wait. Okay, next is this guy. <clears throat> I bought this one purely because the leaf is that's unfolding at the moment is a half moon leaf. And I love me some half moon leaves. So, yay. Very wet again. Go away, soil. This has less roots than the previous one, but still looking okay. I'm taking off the little paper bit. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, by the way. I'm just doing what I think is right and what I used to do with orchids. So don't use me as like an example of how to do it. Just this is meant purely <laughs> as entertainment. I will be able to put educational videos up because I'm learning as well, but I'm no horticulturalist. Horticultural botanist? I don't know. This guy has one baby plant, a very, very small one on the side. And okay roots. I'm not that impressed. But, oh, where is the screen? <laughs> but look at that leaf. This one is what sold it for me. Almost half moon, actually. Oh, where is the screen? Jeez. There's some green over here. It's almost unfolded, but can't wait to see it unfold. And as you can see on this one, the stem, the petiole, has some great variegation as well. So that gives me some great promise for the new leaves. Look, pink. Okay, last one. It's just falling off, so I guess I'm wasting soil slightly, but I don't want them to sit in some nasty wetness during winter. This was the best plant that I have. This one already has a full half moon leaf, even though the pink side is less developed. There's a new leaf unfolding that ah, has some dots of pink. It doesn't look very variegated. There's a baby one that's also kind of half moony. And there's a pretty mature mini plant on the side. Taking off the paper. This one's roots are a bit healthier, like the other plant, the second one. That looks good. And look at the leaves. I feel like they might have some kind of disease or something, because look, on this little one you can see there's some... It's almost see-through, and this one as well. Plus there's some white stuff on there. But it just looks a little bit weird. If anyone knows of any specific diseases that this could be, send me a DM because I really appreciate all the help. Just gonna pop the soil out and then we're going to repot. These are uh, biodegradable bags, by the way, so I can pop them into the green uh, compost bin without any worries. I have two different sizes, small and just slightly smaller than this one, like two centimeters or four centimeters. One of which is pretty broken, but okay. I think I'm gonna use the small ones. Let me see. Yeah, that should be fine. Don't wanna give them too much space just because it will be winter. It's pretty cold here already, so they're not gonna be growing much in the next few months. There we go. Done. <laughs> if only. So we're going to put some soil in there. I never know whether you should really press this in very strongly or leave it to be quite fluffy and light. So I just do what feels good. That's Percy. Done. Now that they're in smaller pots, I can also get them cuter outer pots. So it's going to be nice. Always tricky to keep the plant in the center of the pot as you're doing this, especially if it doesn't have any leftover soil, but 
I'm doing the best I can. Press, press, press. Add some more. Press, press, press. I've been having debates with myself about whether I like pink princesses a lot or if I don't like them at all. It's very interesting how it goes back and forth. Can't wait to see how they develop, but then I might just part with all of that. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, number two, done. After this, it might be time for me to go back on the sofa because I'm already really tired from just doing this small thing. And also I'm coughing and sneezing and ugh. All right, that looks good. Last one. A little bit of soil. Pop the roots in there. I was advised from the orchid life that I used to live before to, if you have really long roots that are sticking out from the rest of them to turn the pot or the plant so that they're curling up nicely in the fresh soil and they're not right away sticking at the bottom of the plant might be a practical tip for you i have a big princess family now this i think in total with all the baby plants included i may have about 10 plants right here which is cool if I take good care of them and they develop, I will sell them to you guys for not expensive. Because I didn't buy them for expensive. And I want to share the love. All right. That's done. I'm just going to water them. And then they can go back on their heating mat that I bought from Amazon. Link is on my website, yogawithrose.com. I water all my plants with rainwater from the garden. I should be... A little bit better than regular tap water, even though we have very good tap water here. <clears throat> I live about five minutes walk from the beach, so we ha get water straight from the dunes here. And then, of course, filter to make it pure, but it's very healthy, nice water. I usually water them once until the water comes out of the bottom. I can't really tell right now because the um, water is coming over the sides with the leaves. I always make a mess when I'm watering. And then I'm just going to let them sit for a while and dry out. So I'm not going to water them again for another week probably or two. They feel pretty heavy now. So that means that there's enough water in there, but also that I'm not going to add any more anytime soon. That's it, I'm done. Five plants repotted, time to head back to the sofa and get better. Let me know what you think of this video, if you like videos like this, or if you prefer the plant shopping ones. There are many more plant shops that I haven't discovered yet. So stay tuned for those as well. I can't talk anymore. Ah, my brain is fried. All right guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.